Hello, hello, hello. Good day. I hope this video finds you doing very well. My name is Nicole with Healing Disclosures. Today is January 19th, 2023. I always say, can you believe it? Because time seems to just be in a completely different uh, vortex shift. It's palpable. Most of us feel like in a, um, in a linear day, like in a normal eight hour day, uh, maybe two days worth of events take place. That's how I feel anyway. Um, I will uh, be touching on a few points that have come through via my downloads from source. I wanted to talk about like a lot, a lot, a lot. And I only got permission to speak about um, two of the six things I asked about. But like I always say, if you've never seen any of my videos before, easy enough, go back through um, my Rumble channel, my YouTube channel, you can see um, every, since the beginning, it's divinely led. I did not um, set out to be a quote unquote truther. I didn't set out to have a YouTube channel or a rumble channel. I was pushed, pushed, pushed by source and uh, really given the confirmation um, once I was healed and activated, I'm gonna touch on that as well. And I had an open clear of communication line with source. I was given the confirmation that the information that I found true to my soul is truth. It's, it was biblical truth when I first started. It's been truth all along. I have ha basically had the seal of approval from source creator on the content that I've put out. So I, that made me feel great, right? I was like, yay. Like I knew what I felt inside guided me to a certain spot, topic, um, what I found about that topic really resonated within my soul and I felt the overwhelming push to share it because this was a couple well I started my channel last year but the year before that I really felt like there was such a drive a an unquenched thirst for truth right we were having so much information thrown at us and it was obvious pretty quickly to some of us that it was more manufactured information and not factual information. And then, of course, as time's gone on, we know what we know. We learn what we learn. You know, I have a shirt from the wonderful Liz Olive. I'm going to put her link at the bottom of this um, description box. This is one of her shirts seated. The meaning behind this shirt means is that we always we all have a seat at the table. We all have a say and we're all divine in our own right um but the other shirt says <laughs> the more i learn the less i know and it's so true like i thought i i knew a lot about the world i thought i knew about a lot about how lots of things functioned and why they were the way that they were and two three years ago learned that everything i thought i knew was a lie so it led me further down the the journey for truth and that made me find the the definition for what I was feeling so I was following the gnosis what is gnosis it's a secret inner knowing it's not secret because people can't know it's secret because it's not spoken it's not delivered to you it's from within you, okay? And so we're, the divine beings are born with amnesia to forget their previous lives and to forget all the knowledge that they had up until that creation. But we have the gnosis still, it's in there. That information is in your, your soul, your being. And depending on what your life looks like and your experiences and how you, that is cultivated, people can um, start to recognize that gnosis, right? 
So whenever we're coming out of, I call it like the matrix fog, and you're taking those first steps of following your gut, and then mo almost immediately, there's a battle that happens between your brain and your gut or your brain and your heart and your gut. And so that logic side is saying, whatever it is you think that you know, you don't know. You have no proof. Um, you can't go by how you feel. Feelings are not to be trusted. Does any of this sound familiar? It's because it's what we've been taught. It's what our brains have been taught. They have been manipulated to not see, hear, feel, sense, recognize the magic. Okay. So when you start to come out of that brain fog and you start to put your brain in check and you say, you don't actually know everything. You don't know what's best for me because I've followed my brain down a different path and and I was sick the whole time and I felt tormented the whole time and I knew in my gut in my spirit in my heart I was in the wrong place and that's because I followed my brain so you just be quiet for a minute that's kind of how the, the conversation went with me and, and it wasn't very long before following the gnosis, recognizing that what I was sensing in my spirit was truth because I didn't have the icky feeling. I didn't have the symptoms that made me feel sick. I felt comforted. I felt reassured. My entire body was able to relax. I had peace. I had calm. So people around me were spinning out of control because it was like a feeding frenzy for bad information. You know, everybody wanted to know that one piece of information that was going to change their life for the, the better. Well, they were looking in the wrong places because they were looking outside of themselves instead of looking within themselves. And why would, I don't blame anyone because it, we are products of our environment, right? So we grew up in a time on this gangster planet where the controllers decided for us the type of information we were going to get. And that actual history wasn't anything that we could accept and process and not m mess up. And so they created a history. They created an environment of truth that is all false. They created a scenario where anyone who comes forth and says, this is what I believe. And I believe it so strongly because my soul recognizes it as truth must be crazy. Okay. So it's very hard. It takes courage. It takes faith more than anything to believe in yourself, to believe in the message, to believe that the information that you're pulling through is valid and worth fighting for and worth saying I don't know what manufactured words or videos or anything else that you think you have proof in but I've gone back centuries and this is where the truth lies and it lines up with what's in my soul and so my gnosis my inner secret knowing led me right back to the truth of previous lives that I've known for a millennia in the absence of the brain fog of the matrix of the controllers. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to say. If you're in that moment now, because there's been a lot of disclosure and a lot of energies coming in, and I'll touch on all that too. But all the things that need to take place to wake us up have been happening. So some of us have been on this journey for a really long time. And some people around us are just cluing in. Okay, they're just getting off the hamster wheel. And they're just starting to realize that 
when I lift my head up above the crowd, I can think clearer up here. I can feel the truth coming in. I'm now open to what my universe is telling me. And my universe and my timeline is not your universe and your timeline per se. Okay. It depends on your choice. We all have free will choice. Those choices lead us down timelines and in groups, bring us to groups of people of like frequency. So if you are someone who has had your head in the sand and you've been a good sheep and you've been following the masses around, what I'm saying is not going to make any sense to you at all because we are on completely different frequencies. I cannot, nor will I dip down into that very long to try to make sense of someone who has no an initiation on their own to find the truth. So I welcome those folks to just turn this off because the rest of it won't make any sense either. But if there's been an inkling, even one time that you have felt something, a message in your soul, in your spirit, in your mind, this for me, whenever I kept getting pushed to start the YouTube channel, I was literally getting this message over and over and over again. Biblical truth on YouTube. Biblical truth on YouTube. It was like this running message on my, the TV screen of my mind. Biblical truth on YouTube. So initially, I started looking for biblical truth on YouTube. That brought me to uh, Esoteric Atlanta, Bryce Watson. That was the catalyst that tipped me over into researching my truth, figuring out what meant what to me, because what's important to someone is not always important to someone else, right? I mean, we, we have different tastes and, and, and interests and genres and whatnot. But I can tell you that my entire life, Although I was raised Catholic, I was kicked out of the Catholic church at, at, in seventh grade for defending myself against a nun and a, and a much older, bigger boy that was abusing me. And I was kicked out for being a bully. I was. So that was my donkey kick into, okay, this religion makes no sense. And I feel a pull to God. So I will find that on my own terms. And I was young, seventh grade, but that was my gnosis kicking in. Throughout life, I've tried and to be a part of, make sense of multiple, multiple religions. Now I know all religion is man-made. Our Yahshua whom most people refer to as Jesus, never wanted to be idolized, never wanted to be put on a pedestal, never wanted to be worshipped. He only wanted to share biblical truth, enlighten individuals to the power within themselves, and anchor Christ consciousness, which is compassion, kindness, empathy, and a deep inner knowing communion through your own spirit, your higher self, source creator, being in service of others. It's really not that complicated, but the powers that be could not manipulate the masses when they are not following a, a leader. When they're, when they are in communion with themselves and the Holy spirit and God source prime creator, they, they don't care what's happening outside of them, okay? Because all that is noise and this is truth, okay? So that brings me to the next point. The matrix, when I say the matrix, I really mean like old earth because we're going into new earth, but the communities, the education system, the religion, the healthcare, politics, government, banking, financial, all the things have been woven in through and to keep us shielded from the truth, following false 
narratives and leading us down a path of blind slavery. It was never our prime source creator and Mother Sophia's intention that their light beings work as slaves Monday through Friday, 12 hours a day, eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, with hardly any time for family or any time to do anything that, that makes their spirit sing, art, nature, um, sports. Like if all you're doing is punching a time clock and being productive for someone above you, you are giving all your power and magic away. That's what they wanted. And so it was taught, like you have to have this degree or you're nothing. And if you get this degree, then you really got to get this next degree because otherwise you're going to be walked out of the, of the ascension of your profession and blah, 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 blah. And it's on and on and on and on and on. People were put in spots where they were told to stay and they're told the only way to get out of that spot is to pay more money and to do more things that the man says to do. And then only, and then do you agree to do more of that work? Do you get rewarded? Well, that's not really how life is supposed to be. This is the earth experience. This is to see how long a being, a population can be controlled before they rebel. Or are a better word before they find out who they really are on a soul level and follow that guidance. The gnosis is the start. Okay. Then you take the brain out of it because the brain's going to always talk you out of the magic. Once you start recognizing that the voice that you're hearing, that word that keeps coming up, that thought that you keep having is your actual born abilities given to you by source creator to figure out the truth because it comes in as a download in that form, in that format, then you really have nothing to fear and you don't have to wonder what to do. You just have to be in communion with your higher self and source creator. So what we get though because that's dangerous, according to the controllers. People can't just be thinking for themselves. Instead, what we were told is that magic is fake. You can't listen to the voices inside your head because that's mental illness. You don't have the ability to bless yourself, to, to have a one-on-one -on -one communication with source creator, because that's crazy, or demonic, or Satan, or any number of things to take your power away. At the same time, we're being fed toxins and things that have parasites and things that calcify our pineal gland and instill blockages. We have implants, we have unnatural seals, we have um, etheric blockages in our chakra system. All this to disrupt the flow of energy that brings you to truth, okay? So what I have done since it was done for me last year, I was energetically healed of blockages in my chakra system. Everything's free flowing. Lots of implants were removed. Lots of unnatural seals were removed. I was able to then have a deep connection with my higher self, with source creator, and the information really started to flow. Now I had deep intuition before. But once my blockages were healed, removed, and my energy flow was united without all the disruptions and the blockages and the unnatural seals, and that just caps off your energy. Once that free flow of energy was opened up, green light all the way, green light all the way. So all then it became a huge learning curve, right? Like deep learning curve. And for some people that can be overwhelming, but for me, I had been searching for the truth for so long that I was just like an empty vessel. Fill me up, fill up my cup with the truth. And that's what happened. And I have been living that and walking in my faith ever since then. So energetic healing is what, what, I, what we do and what I do. And it's only through my divine intention and the abilities given to me by source creator. 
I have had them my whole life. I had blockages. I didn't know. I was following my intuition to be a nurse. I knew I needed to be a healer. I will use and I do use that information, that skill, that knowledge, that experience in my new world life, but it is not the, the same type of healing. Okay. So energetic healing clears energetic blockages in your chakra, chakra system, implants, seals, distortions, curses, hexes, witchcraft, parasites, all sorts of things. Once you're healed, the energy is delivered over a couple of hours. You integrate that healing over the next couple of weeks which is purging, you'll purge, you'll have GI symptoms, you'll have some nausea, headache, ear ringing, sinus congestion, your skin might get a bit of a rash, you do some salt baths, you do detox, whatever. Once you come through that and you're a clear vessel of energy, your frequency shoots up. Frequency equals power. So our frequency is our vibe, right? We're vibrating. Everything is energy. And every energy has a vibration. This is science. This is proven. The entire universe is different vibratory levels. So once you have the ability to have a free flow of energy, you're healed. You're recognizing truth. You're downloading messages from source creator. You're going to have ascendant masters that know you, that have known you from lives past and they're going to come to you because they know what you need and they know what you have in your future and the strengths that you're going to need the wisdom that you need to glean from them because again we're born with amnesia so people come to you and they start helping you and everything is not a bed of roses because that's whenever you can really start to dig into your shadow work and you really get triggered and you really figure out the shit that's been done to you your whole life but at some point it's different for everyone. At some point, you realize that all the bad things, all the torture, all the abuse, all the shit, it did not happen to you, but it happened for you. These are karmic lessons that our soul contracted to endure, to experience, to learn in this life so that we can get off the karmic cycle no longer have to incarnate. We've learned the lessons. Our souls are wise to the point that we then fully ascend. So that is the mission, right? That is the goal. So there's been lots and lots and lots and lots of us that have found each other by our frequency. My video is when I get put out there and what I was told um, so I was fully healed and activated in August of 2022. I had started doing YouTube stuff, I think in April. Um, and I was told in, in April, biblical truth, right. And, and I did that. And then I, I really had a lot of, uh, not a huge following, but I had a, some really, really profound connections with people. Well, then in August when I was healed and activated and I had that ability to have conversation, communion with source creator, and I learned what my mission is, I learned what my purpose in this life is, I had questions and my answers baffled me because I couldn't fathom it. But one answer, one part of the mission was to help to connect with my soul family via my frequency. And I didn't understand that. I didn't understand that at all at the time because it was all so new to me. And I was just told, keep doing what you're doing in divine ways, in divine timing, the people that need to be in your path will find you. And that has been proven time and time and time again. And now I understand it is our energetic frequency that calls to one another. And it's because we have had soul lives, many, many, many soul experiences with the same soul before this incarnation. And they've been looking for us and we've been looking for them. And whenever their soul recognizes our, my frequency, they come in and it is a aha moment. Okay. My soul has recognized other people's soul immediately. Like I've gotten emotional. It's like I've found a long lost family member. 
And I literally just met them in this or in their earthly form, like virtually, but it's a connection. It is an energetic connection. It is real as anything else. It is real as the nose on my face. Okay. And my nose is real. Um, so once you're healed and the frequency starts to elevate, then you start to see things differently. You start to process things differently. Truth comes easier and bullshit gets deflected a lot easier. Um, people that are not in your frequency range fall out of your life because they're uncomfortable. They cannot be around that higher frequency. Our frequency reverberates around us in a large circumference. And so even if we never speak a word to anyone, they feel that frequency. And so people that are on the positive side of it will gravitate toward us. And the people that are on the negative side of it, polarity, they will gravitate away from us. And I have seen it happen multiple times in multiple different situations. And it always is funny. It's just funny. You can see people like come to you. They don't even know why they were talking to you, but they just feel so comfortable. And then you have other people that are like making themselves a part of the wall because they can't get far enough away from you. It's the funniest thing. So once you have that free flow of energy and your frequency is shooting through the roof and everything's processing the solar flare flares that are coming in, another form of energy, all of those things combined activate your latent DNA. That's what we mean by activation. It brings your abilities online. So abilities, we're all born with abilities, but we're told as a child, that is crazy talk that you're not seeing what you're seeing. You're not hearing what you're hearing. You can't go to school and say those things. You're going to get in trouble, blah, 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 blah. Abilities are claircognizant. That's knowing. That's what I have. You just, I just know things. Claire audience, you hear a voice, you hear things. So you, you could hear your ascendant master talk to you. You could hear Yashua talk to you. You could hear Maggie talk to you. It just depends on who it is. Um, Claire sentient, that's your feeling, your emotions. You, you will get goosebumps when you ask a question. So you get this yummy feeling and that's a yes. And you get this sick, horrible pain. That's a no. Um, Clarifacting it, you're smelling a scent. You're smelling something. So you'll have a smell and that get that's your answer. And then clairvoyance. So you have vision. I have a measure of clairvoyance, but my strongest ability is claircognizant. And that's what I mean by downloads. And so I just, information just drops in and it usually sends me to ask more questions of my higher self. And then I can um, fill in the picture and complete the entire, uh, information download that way. So everyone, whether you're a star seed or not could benefit from the healing, the energetic healing, because living on this planet, you inherently get all this shit, right? And then you strive to clear it. Like, you know, you have blockages and you're working your ass off and you can't get it. That was me. I couldn't get a connection to meditate no matter what I tried. Well, then once I got healed, I realized how many blockages I had, how many implants I had. I'd been an alien abductee, had all these implants. I could not have made that connection on my own. Probably never. And there are some people that, just lose faith in the process because they're getting these, they're hitting these blockages and they're bouncing off and they just don't understand. And it doesn't have to be that hard. I'm not taking anything away from anyone's daily practice to obtain this without energetic healing. I'm saying this is an adjunct to that. It does intensify the healing. It intensifies the shadow work. It intensifies the clearing at the same time, you're not spending your entire life trying to make a very small amount of progress on this. You're clearing and you're knocking it out. So then you can heal, activate, and realize what your life's purpose is and take action and start manifesting that and start moving in the direction that Source Creator and Mother Sophia intended for you to be for the entire time. It just falls into place so beautifully. The synchronicity is sacred geometry at its finest. You see without a shadow of a doubt, that this has all happened for you. 
and not to you. So opening up the energy flow, everything's unobstructed. You have bad days because you got to deal with the triggers and you got to deal with the shadow. And we help guide you through that. There's not one crew member, there's not one soul family member that has come in and gotten healed and activated that didn't have a response that they needed some guidance through, right? No one comes into this knowing everything. I sure didn't. I'm learning as I go. I'm learning through downloads. I'm learning through trial and error. I'm learning through making mistakes and not making them again. I'm learning through advice of others. It is a learning process and it is a journey and it is not a checkbox. No one gets checked off. Okay, you're good for another year. No, no, ma'am. No, sir. Mm -mm. This is a daily practice. Every single day, the progress that I made the day before is in jeopardy the following day if I don't take care of my energy field. If I don't maintain my sovereignty, if I allow toxins to come into my body, if I move away from source, it's all at risk. This is a every day, stay committed, stay focused. You're in the place you need to be. Now earn it, earn to keep it. And every time you do, you level up, you get rewarded. You get, your faith is so rewarded on this journey because you can feel it. It's tangible. You're no longer banging your head against the wall with things that don't make sense. Things that make sense are confirmed by other soul family members. You can get an answer through your pendulum that, that completely blows your mind. We overuse the term mind blown in our groups all the time because people are constantly having these mind blown experiences, you know, where you'll get a download and you think, nah, nah, that is like way too good to be true. And you ask someone to confirm it and they do, they confirm it hundred percent. And you're like, holy, but Jesus, wow. Thank you, source creator, right? And then just move on. You take the blessing, you level up, your timeline changes, you're always on that positive timeline headed straight in alignment with source creator. And that is the goal, right? So what I'm speaking is not this foreign concept. Every congregation that I have ever sat and been a member of, they have all said that their ultimate goal is to be with God, to have communion with God, to have God's blessing, to know their purpose, to be in alignment. Well, that's how you get here. This, this is how you get there. Not by listening to one person read the words out of one book and they, and that's it because that book is full of lies. 90% of it is made up to support their narrative. And that's verified through your higher self and through your communion with God, source, creator. I had a ton, a ton of questions, a ton. And I was able to ask them all through my higher self. And I don't, I no longer, I no longer question what is real and what is not. I know. Who can say that? Well, really just the people that have a divine soul communion with their higher self and source creator. That's it. If you have not been cleared of your blockages and you have not been cleared of negative distortions, negative entities, all the other things, you're not getting true answers from your higher self. You're getting manipulated because that's the way that the trickster spirits work. That's what they do. Sometimes it's nefarious and sometimes it's just them having their way with you because they can. Now, once you're completely clear of all that, and you can have that pure, unobstructed flow of energy, that's when you get the good stuff. That's when you have the downloads. That's when the truth starts coming through and that's when everything makes sense. And it may not be pleasant. Like I said, it may not be a bed of roses, but like I have always said from the very, very beginning of my YouTube channel and my, and my videos, I can accept and respect the truth. I can't respect a lie. And I would much prefer have the truth and get over whatever the truth and knowing the truth triggers with my life because the truth should not change. All right. There shouldn't be 
shades of truth. There shouldn't be versions of truth. Truth doesn't have versions. The truth is the truth, right? But we've been brainwashed into thinking that the truth has versions. No, it doesn't. It is the truth. Leave it alone. Accept it. Stop deciding for me what I can and cannot handle. Because I can guarantee you, I have already handled more than anyone ever expected me to. 100%. Um, let's see. So when it comes to uh, the actual event of healing people, um, it's law of of consent, the law of one, we, we absolutely have to have consent. Um, parents can consent for children and spouses. Um, the spouses can consent for each other. Um, we do an energetic scan. We determine what a soul can benefit from. We discuss what all is going to be done. We explain what that's going to look like, but it really just being open to the healing and you receive the healing energetically and then your higher self, your intuition, your consciousness pulls that healing in and it's how you integrate it. And it's really a, you know, it's a soul mission and it's a solo mission. I, I just deliver the energy. It is your intent on how you're going to heal, how you're going to accept it, um, being open to whatever that brings forward is a huge part of it our intentions really drive this um my intentions are to heal and not cause any harm through healing you will then have the sh the triggers that come up and the shadow work that needs to be done and some of that is truly painful and some of that has caused people to live in fear because they are really feeling it now that those blockages are gone they're really feeling the fear and they get spun up and some people, especially those that, that have lived on the like anxiety uh, spectrum, the, the, the mental health spectrum, sometimes those folks are so um, bogged down in toxins from medication and the mind fuck of psychology and, and all of that, that this becomes like that, that too good to be true scenario. And they just, they just bow out. They can't do it. It's like the, um, the Stockholm syndrome, you know, like they just, they, they know what to expect in their illness and they know their doctor can give them something in a pill form that can help a little bit. And they prefer to go that route because, um, they know what to expect there. This is like the great unknown. They don't know what to expect and it's too much for them. They can't handle it. There's that scenario and there's that percentage of people that it's happened to. Now, at that point, source creator takes over and Mother Sophia and they, they just say, you know, we've got it. We've got it. Everybody has free will choice. Those that answer the call, those that say, I don't know who this person is, but everything she's saying resonates, resonates with what I'm feeling and what I've been feeling and what I've gone through in my life. They answer that call. They reach out to us, usually through Telegram group. That's, us, that's the best way to contact me and our, our admins. And they realize that all of a sudden they're in like company. All of a sudden they're in a room full of people that have had the same type of, of life. Like everybody's story is individual, but the theme is the same. Like you, you just never really fit, fit in, even with your own family. You felt like you were cut from a different piece of cloth. Things that make a lot of sense to them didn't make any sense to you. You always had this longing to be somewhere different from where you were. You never really felt like you were home. Um, some people have always had the feeling that they were for a bigger and more important purpose. They were meant to do something bigger than what they've, they've had, than the torment and the torture that they've had in their life. And so they start to realize that not only am I in like company, but I feel like I know these people. And then you learn because our souls have been together for lifetimes and our souls are together right now. 
So it's beautiful. <laughs> it's a lot of hope in a spot where people can get spun up in the chaos. And so that's why I was driven to make this video today. I feel like there's a whole new wave of people waking up to the fact and they're looking for that divine truth, whether they've been around religion and God and source creator and all the things, and they have the indoctrination to deal with, or whether they've never even considered that as a true um, thing in life. Now it's starting to resonate with them because they've tried all the other avenues and all the other avenues have beat them up and left them on an island feeling alone. That's the other thing. The other profound, loving, compassionate, kind feeling that, and, and sentiment that everyone mentions when they come in is that it's so good to not feel like I'm alone anymore. I have found my family and, and it's a soul family. We all know that we've incarnated in, in families that are not the best usually. And that for me was a, a, a big deal, but now I know it was for me and my soul chose it because I needed those lessons and it was nothing that I couldn't survive. And I did survive and I learned from it and I'm a better person on this end of it than I was when I started. And it was for me to be right here, right now, making this video with the knowledge and the wisdom and the divine guidance that I have for you now. Divine synchronicity, it is a beautiful thing. And it instills and bolsters your faith like no other. When you realize that something that happened 18 years ago, 28 years ago, in that moment, you couldn't fathom why it was happening to you. And in this moment, you realize exactly why it happened for you is profound. And it happens every day. Once you are cleared of these energy, etheric implants, blockages, distortions that are geared to make you think a certain way and not look within yourself for truth, then the world really opens up and the truth certainly, certainly can set you free. And right now, freedom is a very, very high commodity. The opportunity to have freedom and the opportunity to have truth to me are invaluable. You cannot put a price on it. And it's all within you. It is all possible. So <clears throat> I will have the information for the Telegram group. It's healing disclosures on Telegram. When you come into the, use the link, come into that group, um, make a post. Most of the time we can see the new, the new members, but it gets busy sometimes and it gets missed. I don't want to miss anyone. So make a post, say, Hey, I saw your whatever video or however you find me and we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. We'll welcome you with open arms and we'll take care of it from there. If you're a star seed and there's just more to learn, that's all. If you're not, uh, it sounds funny when I say it now, I'm like, they're just human. It's fine. It's great. You can be human. You don't have to be a star seed. You still can benefit from healing and allowing that energy flow to help you um, find your truth and, and have true communion with source creator. That's not for just certain people. That's for anyone who wants it. So I hope you have a great day. I know there's a lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff happening. Um, energetically in the universe and in, in our local communities and our governments and all over the world and I hold space for the people that are on the fight the good fight and all the light beings known and unknown that they are bolstered and and lifted up by source creator and mother Sophia and given the power that they need to find their way back to truth and freedom I thank you for joining me today on Healing Disclosures, and I look forward to seeing you next time.